trail knives, uh, knives that are useful for uh, hiking, backpacking, or camping applications. Uh, for myself, I spend a lot of time trail hiking, and um, I do some backpacking. So I, I like knives that have a lot of uh, usefulness for me. Um, one of the knives that I often choose to carry is a uh, Swiss Army knife. They have a lot of versatility and usefulness. Some of the features are uh, little tools like uh, tweezers for removing splinters or a toothpick for picking your teeth. Uh, they have some other tools on them besides the main blade but also the screwdriver, bottle cap lifter, can opener. Um, the awl or punch is very useful. So these are really a, a high use for very little weight type tool. Another blade that I like to carry very often with me is a nice large folding knife. This particular model is one I'm very fond of. It's a uh, Columbia River knife and tool uh, Crawford Casper. Uh, it's a lock blade. I like a locking blade on a folding knife. This one has um, two locks actually. It has a um, frame lock here that allows the blade to be locked in place and then it has a secondary lock up here that can be slid forward and additionally prevents the blade from closing. Uh, serrated edge, it's a 50-50 edge. A really great knife. Pretty large, able to process a lot of uh, projects with this. Um, great for carving um, a uh, hearth board and a um, fire making kit for a bow drill or also very useful for making uh, tent stakes. Um, you don't have to p pack a tent stake or a tarp stake with you if you can just uh, carve one out in the uh, woods when you're camping. Another tool that I'm very very fond of and I often carry is a, a Leatherman multi-tool. This is a uh, Leatherman Super Tool 200. It's since been uh, updated to the Super Tool 300. This gives you a saw, a serrated blade, tools like a Phillips head, a pair of pliers, um, a file which has both a, a, a double cut and a fine cut blade on either side, and um, a straight edge blade. And these tools lock in place as well. So I, I do like to carry in my pockets uh, folding knives uh, usually one of these will go with me on any outing. Um, next I'm going to talk about fixed uh, blade knives. The other uh, tool that I like to use on the trail is a um, fixed blade knife. I like to carry these as a backup to my uh, pocket knives or uh, folding knives these knives are larger, uh, the blades are fixed, and they're a sheath knife, and they're able to perform heavier duty tasks, uh, such as splitting wood for a campfire, chopping, uh, maybe uh, clearing brush, um, tasks that a folding knife is not that well suited for. Uh, one of my favorites is this little um, Becker uh, K-Bar um, neck knife. Uh, it's a collaboration knife that uh, was made, uh, collaboration between the uh, SE Knife Company and uh, Becker Knife and Tool and K-Bar. has about a 3 inch blade, uh, skeletal handle. Uh, I've used this to split wood and uh, make my campfires. Uh, it can be worn around the neck in a sheath and um, it's a wonderful little blade. It takes a lot of abuse. It's a very hard worker. Another knife that um, is surprisingly very, very good uh, is uh, the Bear Grylls Gerber Ultimate Survival Knife. I was a little uh, dubious of it when I received it. I thought it uh, was probably just a commercial uh, grab on Bear Grylls fame, but actually this has turned out to be a very rugged and hard-working knife. Um, has about a uh, four and a half, uh, five inch blade. 50-50 serrations, 
um, has a hammer pommel uh, on the end here and uh, the back of the blade has been cleared away so that you can use a fire steel ferrocerium rod that is built into the sheath um, really an excellent knife I've batoned this through some really hard wood and it's held up and of course my my all-time favorite and this is usual my, usually my uh, go-to blade on the trail is a uh, K-Bar um, standard uh, utility knife uh, this is the model uh, very similar to what the United States Marine Corps um, had used for many years uh, seven and a half inch blade uh, again it has um, a round steel pommel that you can hammer with if you want to drive uh, stakes um, an excellent excellent blade about a seven and a half inch blade um, probably more than any other knife when I go out hiking and camping this is the knife that I take with me um, as a kid the first knife my dad ever gave me was a used uh, K-Bar Commando uh, they're no longer made but it was a rugged knife uh, it's really the knife that got me started outdoors another knife that I've started using uh, recently is uh, one I learned about from Mario at uh, Bushcraft My Way and that's this uh, uh, Bolo um, it's uh, made in China it's not uh, very expensive but uh, what I found is this blade uh, shape is really excellent for chopping um, just uh, has a lot of weight up front it's a good um, good knife good steel it, it takes a very good edge uh, this one's called a hero edge uh, the other thing that uh, you can do with this you can put your uh, ferro rod through these holes and then draw it back and it'll uh, spark and cast sparks on your tinder bundle uh, my understanding is that these holes are actually used to choke up to give you some friction on a blade if you're doing some uh, food processing or um, carving but uh, although it's a cheap knife it's a very good knife and uh, next I'll talk about a couple of knives that I, I have used but I tend to avoid okay finally I'd like to talk about uh, two knives that I have used but I generally don't rely on or um, uh, somewhat avoid when I go out uh, one is the survival knife as it's called uh, sometimes called the Rambo knife these were very popular in the 1980s they're still out there being marketed um, basically it's a saw back knife and um, has a hollow handle and I've never had one of these that held up very well most of them do not take abuse real well uh, they're very cheap for the most part usually around ten or twenty dollars and uh, my experience has been that uh, when you start chopping wood with these they will fail uh, where the blade enters and mates with this hollow metal handle the hollow handle uh, innovation was um, gives you a compass in the uh, pommel of the knife and uh, more often than not these don't even work and then the hollow handle is designed to hold a few items like uh, waterproof matches uh, or maybe a small fishing kit but um, these are tr just not a very good knife I do like the sawback uh, feature it is useful for uh, making uh, shavings or um, uh, wood for uh, fire starting and also for notching but uh, these teeth are not set meaning they don't uh, they're the same width as the blade and they're, they're not cutting a wider kerf into your project so as soon as you reach this uh, area below the uh, saw blades the knife becomes stuck so it's it's not a very good practical saw the other knife that I have used and um, I'm not real fond of is a large buoy this particular buoy has about a uh, foot long blade 12 inches it's very heavy and um, it is useful for chopping wood uh, for large chopping tasks or splitting wood but uh, for smaller tasks uh, it's just too heavy and um, I can't manipulate it or use it there, there's a saying that uh, 
a small knife can't do a large knife tasks and uh, a large knife can do a small knife tasks well uh, maybe for some people but for me it's very hard to manipulate such a large hard blade uh, heavy blade um, with small tasks this is really a gross um, uh, motor skills type uh, tool just for huge chopping tasks um, again my feeling if I had to pick uh, my favorites two that I would take with me would probably be my K bar 1211 and um, most likely for my sheath um, uh, or belt uh, pouch knife would be a super tool with these two knives right here I have a lot of um, utility available to me that uh, can process just about every job I want to do in the woods and uh, so this is just a kind of a, a quick review of knife choices but I do believe that when you go out on the trail you should have some kind of cutting tool with you uh, it is absolutely an essential to uh, survival if you become involved in a uh, tough situation you may have to cut a walking stick if you don't have one with you if you break your ankle uh, if somebody in your party becomes ill you might need to uh, craft a stretcher uh, using clothing and some wood you're going to need cutting tools to process those things or to cut clothing away to examine a break or an injury um, it's a must-have so there's just a few thoughts on cutting tools for the trail I hope you have all have uh, safe hiking outings and remember to get out there on the trail uh, pick up some trash and bring it back with you um, bring out more than you took in. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.